final this time it is Mariana Rivero who goes in seven. Osteres, Chen, Lurandi, Riva, Pasco, Krieger, Ribeiro, and Cristino of Mexico. Going in lane eight for Mexico. Stephanie Ruby, Cristino Zapata. Simply Ruby to her family who are sitting in the stands. Maria Osteres of the Netherlands goes in lane one. The 21 year old swimming just outside the 103 in qualifying. Her family, too, in the stands. Brazil's representation will swim in lane seven. Mariana Ribeiro, the 21-year-old, a 102.84 in the heats. A swimmer you cannot discount. She's only 15 years old, still learning her trade, but already a gold in the mixed 50 relay the 4 by 50 mixed relay silver in the 100 fly and bronze in the 53 lisa krieger of the netherlands goes in lane six gold in the 100 breaststroke not his strongest event but good solid dutch representation with osteres and krieger in lanes one and six now we move to the favorites Elodie Lurandi, silver medalist four years ago, the 27-year-old former 400-meter freestyle champion. Lurandi plans to retire after the World Championships next year, wants to make this a grand exit from the Paralympic Games. Going in lane five, aiming for the fourth gold medal in four days, Sophie Pascoe, who won the title four years ago in London, goes in lane five. But the friendly rivalry between Pasco and Rivard continues here because the world champion, Aurélie Rivard of Canada, goes in lane four. She finished outside the medals in London. She touched fourth, but now vastly more experienced as a 20-year-old returns and has already claimed gold in the 50 free and is looking to round out the 50 and 100 free double. She's the world record holder. She set the Paralympic record in qualifying as the only swimmer to go sub-60 seconds in the heats. A silver in the 200 IM behind Pasco. She often trades with her twin sister Charlotte, her father of sporting background. He was a, a goalkeeper, a hockey goalkeeper in Canada. Sophie Pasco. She lost to Riva in the 53 in her very first race at Rio 2016, then won gold in the 100 back, gold in the 200 IM, and gold in the 100 fly. Osteres, Chen, Lohandi, Rival, Pasco, Krieger, Ribeiro, and Cristino. The final of the women's 100 freestyle S10, eagerly anticipated. Rival, such quick reaction time. Sophie Pasco, a little less distance off the starting block, but quickly into her stroke. It is Riva who is looking to dominate here while Lurandi of France goes strong in lane three, but is just losing that little pace. Going strong in lane two, though, is Chen Yi, the 15-year-old from China, but much will depend on her turn. While making a charge from the opening lane, the, the first lane, Osteres of the Netherlands. But right now, it is Riva ahead of Pasco, ahead of Lurandi. Well, let's see how they come off the wall. And Rivard's had a really good turn, but she still hasn't managed to extend the lead over Pasco. In fact, they're going to be going pretty much stroke by stroke as they enter the final 25. The Chinese athlete just starting to drop off a little Chen Yi. She had a great first 50, tiring a little. Well, Sophie Pasco is chasing Rivard, but Rivard is starting to pull away. She's just off her own world record pace. She's going to go sub 60 seconds, though. Rivard is going to beat out a closing Pasco. Rivard takes gold, Pasco takes silver, and bronze goes to Lorandi. The silver medalist of four years ago, France, with a rare swimming medal at Rio 2016. But Rivard does not disappoint. She completes the 50 and 100 free double. The world record holder sets a new Paralympic record in 59.31. And first to congratulate her is Sophie Pasco. Words for one another. A very healthy rivalry between them. Sophie Pascoe, so much would have depended on her recovery. She has been swimming 
in five consecutive days and ice baths and massages needed to be keep her going. Lorandi takes this bronze for France. Well, it was a great start off the blocks. Actually, most athletes did pretty well. In the end, it was uh, Chen Yi who had the quickest reaction time just ahead of Rivard. But the turn so crucial, and we know that Rivard set herself up so well heading into that final 50. And as you say, perhaps Pasco just a little tired after an extremely busy four days of competition, well, consecutive days and swimming in finals every day. And what a great result for her to back up and get a silver. A little English and uh, French-Canadian triangle. Lorandi, the French speaker, Rival from Quebec, but fluent in English and French, and Pasco, the English speaker.